wouldn't it be nice if we could just wish for good health for everyone? And poof, it was a reality. As the largest health plan in Orange County, our focus is just that, knowing health depends on much more than medical care. From food security to a roof over your head, mental well-being and access to preventive and elder care, we remove the barriers that hold health back so everyone can get that all-around care they need. About good health, your health is everything to us. This morning's devotional is from Our Daily Word, Waiting. Look at the book of Philippians 3.20. Our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. In the 1940s, Samuel Beckett uh, wrote a play called Waiting for God It, which is now regarded as a classic. Two men standing on an empty stage, hands in their pockets, staring at each other. Hmm. All they do is stand and stare. There's no action, no plot. They just stand there waiting for God it to come. But who is God it? Is he a person? Does he represent God? Christian ethicist Lewis Smead suggests God it stands for the pipe dreams that a lot of people hang on to as an escape. As the play ends, those men are still standing on the stage doing nothing, just waiting. When the 50th uh, anniversary of the play was celebrated, someone asked Beckett, Now, will you tell us who God it is? You know what he answered? How should I know? Waiting for God it is a parable of many people's lives, empty and meaningless, a pointless matter of just simply waiting. And if there's no God of love, grace and wisdom, then life really is a hopeless waiting for empty time to pass. How totally different, though, is Christian hope? We're waiting and looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, at Titus 2.13. That hope sustains us, a hope that beyond this world lies a life of indescribable blessing. This morning's affirmation is this, the greatest joy on earth is to have the sure hope of heaven. I want to personally invite you to come back at 12 p.m. noon. Uh, We'll be looking at the devotional from Our Daily Bread entitled Grace and Change based on Exodus 2.14. You are just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcasts. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on our social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. We also encourage you to join the Teachable Moments with April podcast family by becoming a paid subscriber. As always, be well and stay blessed. Until next time.